In this video, I'm going to cover how to track multiple service departments. So as an example, we may have a dealership that has a normal service department where they service units, but maybe they do some specialized work and they'd like to keep those mechanics or those uh, technicians separated from the rest of the dealership so that they can track their P&L and, and other activities um, separate from the main shop. So in this uh, case, what we're going to do first is we're going to go over here to settings and we're going to go to general departments. And what we want to do is we're going to right now you have a service department and that is the primary service department that everything runs through. But we want to create a new service department and we'll just call it new service just so that you can see how this works. So this is the service department. And you'll notice down here we have a checkbox here that says this is an additional service department. So it's not the main service department, it's an additional service department. And that is, is critical that you check that because that is what is going to allow Lizzie to know that you know which service department to use when we're creating a service ticket versus some specialized thing. So we're gonna go ahead and save or add this, this uh, department and now what we need to do is we need to assign the people that are in the department because what Lizzie will do is when you create the new service department, Lizzie will automatically create the invoice to that department for whatever people are in the department so that they're not constantly having to do this manually. And I'll show, what I'm, show you what I'm talking about in a second. So right now we're just going to click on new service department, come down and pick the person that is the manager pick on their name and you're always going to pick them again because they are actually in that department as well. So you're going to pick them and then you're going to pick the other people that are also in that particular service department. And that's all there is to actually setting up the new department. So now let's go over here to the invoicing section and we're going to go to service. We'll create a new service ticket and I'll just locate a customer real quick. And so up here in the heading, you can see that the department, and it did this because I'm not in that new department, but it, you can see the department is set to service. Well, if I didn't have the department set up with who the manager is and who's in the department, then they're going to have to come over here and manually come over here and choose the new service department so that this particular service ticket is created for that particular department. Now, what will happen when we go and you just close that after you set it, but when you get the department set up, that will automatically be set, and you just need to check it when you're creating tickets for those particular people. But what will happen then is your uh, service list, your locate con your locate invoice list, your p and l, all of those things will start to give you new options to be able to locate things specific to this new department so that you can kind of keep an eye on what's going on in that department separate from the main service department. Now, in addition, our labor accounts and, and other information that's been recorded will show up on the P&L for this department so that you can run those reports as well. So you, you'll have the same account number for all your labor, for example, but it'll, it'll separate out on the P&L so I can look at specifically what labor did I collect for that particular department. 